Welcome to the spoken tutorial on LibreOffice Math. In this tutorial, we will cover the following topics. Using Greek characters like Alpha, Beta, Theta and Pi. Using brackets. Writing steps to solve a quadratic equation. Let us learn how to write Greek characters using math. For this, let us first open the example writer document that we created in the last tutorial, that is math example 1.odt. Double click on the grey box that has the formulae we wrote. This brings up the math formula editor and the elements window. Let us click on the formula editor border and drag and drop to the right to make it float. This maximizes the writer window for better visibility. Now Greek characters for example alpha, beta, theta and pi are common in mathematical formulas. But we won't find these characters in the elements window. We can write them directly by using the percentage sign followed by the name of the character in English. For example, to write pi, we simply type percentage pi in the formula editor. To write a lowercase character, type the name of the character in lowercase. For example, to write alpha in lowercase, type percentage alpha or percentage beta. To write an uppercase character, type the name of the character in uppercase. For example, to write gamma in uppercase, type percentage gamma or percentage theta. Another way to enter Greek characters is by using the catalog from the tools menu. Under the symbol set, select Greek and double click on a Greek letter from the list. Notice the markup for the Greek letter as alpha which is displayed below the list. So this is how we can introduce Greek characters in a formula. Explore the symbols catalog to know the markup for other Greek characters. Let us now learn how to use brackets in our formulae. Math does not know about order of operation in a formula. So we have to use brackets to state the order of operation. For example, how do we write first add x and y then divide phi by the result? We can type 5 over x plus y. Now, is this really what we wanted to write? No, we want to add x and y first and we can do this by introducing curly brackets around x and y and the markup looks like 5 over x plus y in curly brackets. So using brackets can help set the order of operation in a formula. Let us save our work by using the file menu at the top and choosing save. Let us now write the steps to solve a quadratic equation. We will go to new page in the writer document by pressing Ctrl plus enter. Let us type solving a quadratic equation and call math from the insert object formula menu. I have already typed the quadratic equations. I will cut and paste them so as to save time. So here is the quadratic equation we will solve. x squared minus 7x plus 3 equals 0. To solve it, we can use the quadratic formula shown on the screen. Here, 
A is the coefficient of the x squared term, B is the coefficient of the x term and C is the constant. And we can solve the equation by substituting 1 for A minus 7 for B and 3 for C in the formula. So first let us write the markup for the quadratic equation that we want to solve. First we will call math from the insert object formula menu. In the format editor window let us type the markup as follows x squared minus 7x plus 3 equals 0. Let us write two new lines for entering blank lines for better readability. Press enter and type quadratic formula. Press enter. It is always a good practice to break down a complex formula by starting with the innermost elements of the formula first and then we can work our way around these elements. So we will first write the innermost square root function and the markup is square root of b squared minus 4ac in curly brackets. Next we will add the minus b plus or minus to the above expression and put them inside curly brackets. We will make the above expression a numerator by adding another set of curly brackets and add over 2a to the expression and finally add x equals to the beginning with two long gaps surrounding the equal to symbol and there is the quadratic formula. This is how we can break down complex formulae and build them part by part. Next, let us type the rest of the text as follows in the formula editor window, where a is the coefficient of the x squared term, b is the coefficient of the x term, c is the constant, followed by a new line and type we can solve the equation by substituting 1 for a minus 7 for b 3 for c followed by two new lines so the markup after the substitution is as shown on the screen so we have substituted the numbers using parenthesis in the equation okay here is an assignment for you. Complete the remaining steps for solving the quadratic equation. Display the two results separately. Format the steps by changing alignments and spacing. Add long gaps and new lines wherever necessary. Write the following formula. Pi is similar or equal to 3.14159. This brings us to the end of this tutorial on Greek characters, brackets and equations in LibreOffice Math. To summarize, we learn the following topics. Using Greek characters like Alpha, Beta, Theta and Pi. Using brackets, writing steps to solve a quadratic equation. Spoken Tutorial Project is a part of the Talk to a Teacher Project supported by the National Mission on Education through ICT MHRD Government of India. This project is coordinated by SpokenTutorial.org. More information on the same is available at the following link. This script has been contributed by Priya Suresh, Desi Crew Solutions and this is Soundarya, Desi Crew Solutions, signing off. Thanks for joining.